NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Ben Frechette. Time now, 445. Ben, we really got some messy weather yesterday. It caused some issues on the roads for folks. Yeah. yeah, and in the Champlain Valley, I think the latter half of the day, the roads were mostly wet, but there was yeah. this period in like the mid to late morning where it, it was tough out there when the snow was coming down pretty heavily. And uh, thankfully, nothing like that expected today. It'll be nice and dry. Temperatures this morning are already in the 20s and 30s. 32 Plattsburgh, St. Albans, and 34 in Burlington. So just taking a glance at this map, you'll see that a lot of these numbers are below freezing. And considering the melting we had yesterday, there could easily be some leftover icy patches on some roadways or at least parking lots and sidewalks this morning. There's not much additional snow left. There could certainly be some snow showers in the Northeast Kingdom up into northern Franklin County as well. But otherwise, our next system is a much weaker one that is coming off of the Michigan Peninsula. Just a little bit of moisture that comes through and you can see it's a mix of rain and snow and I think it will follow a similar progression once it gets a little closer to us. So you're looking OK for the daylight hours. Plenty of clouds once again, but a light south breeze pushing temperatures into the upper 30s and low 40s for some of us. If we're lucky, we may see a break of sun or two, but I wouldn't hold my breath on that. This is five o'clock this evening. A little light snow getting into southern Vermont, but note that northern New York, northern Vermont still dry at this hour. And then it's just a few passing snow showers through about 11 o'clock midnight tonight. And then into early Thursday, we have another reinforcing wave of moisture a little farther to the south. And you can see it's a little bit warmer too. raindrops and sleet pellets mixed in. So there could easily be a couple of spots tomorrow morning that are slick, especially where the icy mix comes down. But that is not expected to be a major concern. And then by Thursday afternoon, some leftover mountain snow showers in the northern greens, northern Adirondacks. And look at this, lots of sunshine as we kick off your Friday. But I don't want you to get fooled because that's actually the start of our next system. And this is a much bigger one compared to what came through yesterday. Now, it doesn't get here until Friday night. This is 11 o'clock. So as we turn the page into Saturday, the widespread snow likely overspreads the whole area through Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. From northern New York all the way to southern Vermont, this particular model has the snow, but there's plenty of warm air embedded within the storm, so I wouldn't be surprised if some of this did end up going over to sleet or freezing rain. What you need to know right now is the timing is Friday night to Saturday. There is the potential for heavy snow over six inches on the table for a lot of us, but again, it's highly dependent on that mix line. And that is a detail we will really hash out as we go through the next couple of days. Temperatures are staying in the 30s all the way through the weekend. Some snow obviously on Saturday, but lingering flurries possible on Sunday. And it looks drier for Monday and next Tuesday, which is town meeting day in Vermont. Back to you. Okay.